Hello, my name is Naomi. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. On this channel, I teach about psychotherapy and what you can do to improve your thoughts, feelings, and behavior. If you are new here, consider clicking the subscribe button below. It's free. Breathing. Every breath you take is responsible for how you live and move. Breathing is the fuel, the energy for your whole body. And as you pay more attention to your breathing, you may be able to easily correct some major problems in your life. Breathing is big. Who knew? Who knew? Dr. Wyo, the founder and director of the Integrative Medicine Program at the University of Arizona, who graduated from Harvard Medicine, on his CD, The Healing Power of Breath, says, breathing is crucial to the body's ability to heal and take care of itself. We've always known that breathing is important because when you look at the alternative, breathing, not breathing, not breathing moves more towards the dying thing. I think that we recognize that breathing is very important, but I don't know that we really consciously were aware of the fact that each breath does a whole lot of stuff for our bodies. So each breath fuels my toes my toes and everything that is working inside of you each breath is providing the fuel so if you think about having a a car and you recognize that when you run low on gas you better get somewhere to get some because everything shuts down when you don't have any gas but i don't think that we recognize or pay attention to the fact that each breath is even more important than the gas in our automobile. Wow. Dr. Weil says proper breathing is a master key to good health, a key to good health, which means that proper breathing means that there's a wrong breathing. <laughs> so if we don't have good health, we may be in the wrong breathing section. So, you know, people make statements or there's the phrase as natural as breathing. So obviously there's an unnatural part to this breathing that we need to be aware of. Breathing impacts positively or negatively the heart rate, the blood pressure. So if you think about it, having high blood pressure or having heart problems that are breathing, if we're not breathing correctly, that way that we're breathing may be impacting to some of the negative experiences that we're having. It impacts our thinking, the memory, focus, problem solving ability. Did you know that your breathing did all of that? Digestion, bloating and constipation. Again, it's the breath, <laughs> the strength of your muscles. So how does breathing work? Each breath flows through. So we have the airways, we have our nose, our mouth, the throat, the windpipe or the trachea. That's the airway. The airway sends the breath down to the lungs. The lungs sit behind the ribs. They send the breath or oxygen to the bloodstream, to the blood. Then the diaphragm, which sits under the ribs and lungs, above the navel, it is the main breathing muscle. It pumps air, oxygen into the lungs. So when you breathe, it's pumping in, then it pushes carbon dioxide or waste out of the lungs. So you're breathing in. Then 
that pumping is controlled by our diaphragm. Mucus is produced by the body to keep the air away moist and prevent bacteria and dust from going into the lungs. Who knew that mucus had this purpose, this big job to keep things moist? Mucus, another word for snot, <laughs> is healthy. Come on. So what our body produces, think of it this way. Everything that your body produces, there is a reason and a purpose for it. So if we find out that reason and purpose, we need to be mindful and we need to work with our system to help us be healthy. When there is too much mucus in the airways, your body alerts you by having you cough forcefully to remove the excess. Your body alerts you. Did you know your body was alerting you when you coughed? <laughs> now think about our airways. And if we do things that are unhealthy, like smoke, think about what we're doing to our airway, to our health, since the breath is so important in helping us be healthy. When we clog our airways, just think about all that we're doing negatively to our system, even if we don't feel it. Because you know, you can drive. I know when I got my very first vehicle, something was wrong with the gas gauge, but I was young, I had no clue. So I was just thinking, oh my gosh, this gas is getting me far. You know, because I used to drive my dad's big Buick and it was a gas guzzler. So then I purchased this little Horizon and I, I was just driving, 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 and I was thinking, my gosh, I'm saving so much money. Then I got on that highway and that car stopped moving, just stopped moving, just stopped moving, and I was going nowhere. That's what we're doing to our bodies when we do things that are unhealthy, that clog the airways. We're not aware that we're causing damage or we're not aware that we're shutting things down but we are just because we're not aware doesn't mean that we're not doing it. Not being able to cough or swallow correctly can also lead to health problems. I am, you are a system, a machine. We are composed of a body, a mind and a spirit. That is our machine. So we need to get on board and learn how to take care of our whole being, not just my body, not just my mind, not just my spirit, but all of them because they all function as one. Dr. Weil's integrative medicine program is a healing oriented approach to healthcare, which incorporates body, mind, and spirit the whole being. I will provide a link below to Dr. Wiles' website. On the next video, number three, we will teach proper breathing so that we can improve our health. We can improve our thinking. We can improve our well-being. Well, I've enjoyed our time together. If you have too, click subscribe below and come back. It's free. You will receive notifications when I upload the new weekly video. The more you watch, the closer it brings me to the 1,000 views I need to continue making videos here. Until next time, live healthy in your whole being, your mind, your body, and your spirit.